Well, hello, Shoreline Church and friends. This is your devotional for August 18th, and we're going to look at the second portion of Proverbs 31. This will be our last devotional in Proverbs, and we'll be moving on to something new next week. We'll surprise you next week with a new direction. I'm still praying about that. You can pray with me for wisdom, but we'll be planning ahead and, and looking at what's next. But let's look at a little bit more about this picture of an ideal wife. And again, the character traits there are ones that should touch all of our lives, but specifically saying what a blessing for a married couple if a wife has these kind of qualities and characteristics in their heart and in their life. So here's the first one I want to mention, and that is show active compassion. We should show active compassion and say a great wife, a, a great godly woman is going to show active compassion. Look at verse 20. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. I love the way that's framed. It doesn't say she, she feels bad for the poor. She cries over the needy. No, she takes action. She extends her hand. She opens her heart, but also her hands and her life. A good godly person cares about those in need and does something about it. And a good godly wife does that as well. Second lesson from this, plan ahead. Advanced planning is good. I like this because I'm an advanced planner. I'm a crazy advanced planner. But I believe that by doing that, we can move forward as a church. I can move my family forward in ways that are meaningful and, and, and really honor the whole family, the whole church, the people around me, because I'm thinking ahead, not just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. And we see that in this woman. We'll begin in verses 20 and 21. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. She's thinking ahead. She's making sure that they're ready for the challenging times. And then in verse 25, we read, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. I love that picture. She can laugh at the days to come. Why? She's thought ahead. She's planned ahead. She knows that she's ready. <laughs> I'm not worried. We're ready. We're prepared. That's not pride. That's preparation. And I would encourage you to think about that in your own life. And, and, and women that are married, think ahead. Plan ahead. All of us as followers of Jesus can plan well and honor Jesus with that part of our lives. And then finally, wise words. This woman has wise words and all of us should. In verse 26, she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Godly women who speak with wisdom, who instruct others and have influence on their lives. What a gift. What a gift to a family. What a gift to the church. And what a gift when all of us think, what am I going to say? How am I going to speak? Are my words the instruction of the Lord? Do they honor? Do they bless other people? Well, as we wrap up our time in Proverbs, I hope that God has spoken to your heart. Keep reading the book of Proverbs. I know people that read a chapter of Proverbs every day, year round. Day one of the month, they're in Proverbs chapter one. They may read other parts of the Bible, but they stay lingering on this book of wisdom. I encourage you to keep growing in the wisdom of the Lord. Lord Jesus, as we go into the rest of our week, help us walk in wisdom, live in wisdom. Let your word uh, come to our hearts, impact our thinking, and then shape our lives. Shape how we speak, how we live, all that we do. We pray this for the glory of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a great week. And we'll see you in church online or on campus this coming Sunday. Have a great week.